Hi guys. In today's video we are going to show you some of the best palm grip mice that you can buy in 2023. I've included the links in the description box below. So, without wasting any time let's get started. First one is Logitech G502 Hero. The Logitech G502 Hero is an iconic mouse with a proven design dating back to 2005 with the Logitech G5 Laser. With a focus on ergonomics and user customization, we think it's an extremely comfortable and reliable mouse that is perfect for palm grip users. The G502 Hero is large enough to palm grip with big or small hands. The shape helps you grip the mouse in a natural position, and the slanted body relieves some of the pressure on your wrists during intense gaming sessions. However, moving from a lighter mouse to the G502 Hero can throw people off, especially if you're accustomed to making quick and snappy movements at almost half the weight. In fact, the price of the G502 Hero is another reason why it's our best overall mouse for palm grip users. It's currently selling for under $40, making it one of the best value mice on the market regardless of your preferred grip. You'll be hard-pressed to find another gaming mouse that can offer so much versatility and customization at this price point. Logitech has done a great job of refining this crowd favor over the years, updating its features and design to keep it relevant in the eyes of increasingly demanding gamers. With its signature shape, adjustable weight, customizable macro buttons, and an extremely competitive price tag, the G502 Hero is easily one of the most reliable and feature-rich gaming mice available on the market today. Next one is Glorious Model D. At just 69 grams for the glossy version and 68 grams for the matte variety, the Glorious Model D is classed as an ultralight gaming mouse. This makes it a tad light for some palm grip users, but the shape is undeniably ergonomic and fits the natural curvature of the hand. This secures it as our top pick as the best lightweight mouse for palm grip users. While it may look a little bare compared to some gaming mice, the Glorious Model D has one goal in mind to provide lightweight gaming performance in a larger shell that would be suitable for big hands and palm grip users. With a curved body and extra space to rest your ring and pinky finger, the Glorious Model D feels comfortable in the hand. It also glides with ease thanks to its lightweight build and premium G-Skates mouse feet. The Glorious Model D is a no-frills mouse. While it has a unique logo and RGB lighting, the design is very utilitarian with just enough buttons for most gamers to use and a honeycomb shell designed to minimize weight while maintaining stability. Unfortunately, some users have reported that the mouse buttons have a slight wobble to them. While this won't affect everyone, it can make the mouse feel a little cheap and flimsy if it happens to you. Next one is SteelSeries Sensei 310. For starters, the Sensei 310 is an ambidextrous mouse. Palm grip users typically prefer ergonomic mice, but everyone has slight variations to their grip style. You might find ergonomic mice to be a little uncomfortable, especially if you evenly distribute your fingers in a 1-3-1 grip. The Sensei 310 has large mouse buttons that complement this finger placement, allowing for a more balanced weight distribution ideal for a palm grip user. At 92.1 grams, the Sensei 310 strikes a great balance between lightweight options like the Glorious Model D and heavier mice such as the G502 Hero. The large surface area of the mouse and the center-focused weight distribution makes it extra comfortable for palm grip users to handle. We also like the added grip that the textured rubber sides of the Sensei 310 provide. So if you've tried ergonomic palm grip mice and find them uncomfortable, or if you just prefer an ambidextrous design, then the Sensei 310 is a fantastic choice to consider. It's a big mouse with plenty of room for your palm and fingers. The weight balance is excellent for a palm grip gamer and it has thumb buttons on both sides for left-handed users. Next one is Razer Death Hatter Essential. At around $20, the Razer Death Hatter Essential raises the bar for what a high-quality budget gaming mouse should be. With a reliable sensor, a comfortable shape, and surprising durability, Razer offers a serious value proposition with this affordable addition to their iconic Death Hatter lineup. The Death Hatter Essential is essentially a slimmed-down version of the Death Hatter Elite. It has a slightly different sensor with lower DPI, no RGB lighting, and two less programmable buttons. The switches are also rated at just 10 million clicks as opposed to the Elite's 50 million, but the shape is otherwise identical and a great fit for palm grip users. 
thanks to the large surface area of the deaf adder. It's a great fit for anyone with a large hand, and there's plenty of space to rest your entire palm. The mouse buttons also fan out a little which gives you a bit more room to adjust your grip. This helps the mouse feel comfortable in your hand regardless of your preferred finger placement. It's hard to fault the deaf adder essential at its price point, but it's still important to point out its noticeable flaws. For starters, the sensor isn't top tier. If you're a serious competitive gamer, we suggest looking into the Death Adder Elite, which is lighter and comes with the renowned PMW3389 sensor. The cable is also a little stiff and you may feel some drag if you're light-handed. The Death Adder is one of the most iconic gaming mice in the world and Razer has done a great job keeping it relevant throughout all those years. While there aren't any amazing standout features in the Death Adder Essential, it's an affordable and reliable ergonomic mouse that is perfect for palm grip users. Last one is Corsair Scimitar RGB Elite. Every big mouse brand has at least one MMO-focused offering and for Corsair, it's the Scimitar. With up to 17 programmable buttons and a large body, this is a great gaming mouse to choose if you use a palm grip and need lots of extra buttons for your MMO keybinds. One of the more interesting aspects of the Scimitar is the PMW3391 sensor. This is a high-end custom optical sensor based on the PMW3389 that Corsair has tuned specifically for their mice. It allows for pinpoint DPI adjustments and has received plenty of positive reviews, making the Scimitar an accurate and reliable mouse for any game you throw at it. At a length of 4.7 inches and a width of 3 inches, the Scimitar has plenty of surface area to rest your palm on. Its ergonomic shape also makes it comfortable for palm users. Unlike other MMO gaming mice on the market, the 12-button side panel can slide forward and backward to accommodate different hand sizes, or if you want your thumb to naturally rest on different keys. This is a brilliant little addition that helps the scimitar squeeze ahead of the competition. Lastly, the Corsair ICUE software is a breeze to use and makes it simple to remap keys, create macros, and even change lighting options with the four RGB zones. You can even save these settings as hardware profiles onto the mouse itself, meaning you can carry over your settings if you use the mouse on a different computer. In short, the Corsair Scimitar is an excellent MMO palm grip mouse. It's large, has a great sensor, plenty of customizable keys, and excellent macro software to help complete the package. That's all about the video. Hope you guys like the video. See you guys next time.